it's really nice to see that some celebrities have gotten sober. But before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Celeb Dirty. Here are celebrities who have gotten sober. Number 10, Brad Pitt. Many people don't know that Brad Pitt struggled with alcohol. We all remember when he had split with Angelina Jolie, and that's when he really started to struggle. Things finally came to a screeching halt for him in 2016 though, when he finally made the decision that he needed to get sober and take things seriously. As a result, he decided that he needed to start attending Alcoholics Anonymous and he spent over a year in the program and he's been sober ever since. Number 9, Eminem. Eminem finally made the decision to get sober in April of 2008, after he got the reality check that he so desperately needed, a near-fatal overdose. Thanks to his overdose and the death of his friend, Eminem realized he needed to get help. He first got hooked on drugs in 2002, and he was taking so many he lost count and couldn't even remember what he was taking, and as a result went to rehab in 2005. However, rehab didn't help as his overdose was in 2007. After this, Eminem finally got a reality check and decided to hire a rehab counselor. Ever since then, Eminem has been sober and he remains sober today. Number 8. Joe Manganiello Joe first realized he had a drinking problem back in 2002 when he was just 25 years old. He turned to alcohol as a way of coping with things. Over the years, his drinking got so bad and so out of hand that he didn't get any acting jobs for about 4 years. Instead, he took on other jobs, like just being a roadie for the band Goldfinger, a DJ, and even a demolitionist. He finally came to the conclusion that he needed help, and now, nearly two decades later, he's been sober. These days, he puts his extra time and energy into working out as well as practicing meditation. He hasn't touched alcohol since then and is much more happy and healthy today. Number 7. Daniel Radcliffe once the Harry Potter franchise came to an end, fans weren't the only ones struggling to deal with the fact that it was over. In fact, Harry Potter himself also struggled. Daniel Radcliffe had a huge battle with alcohol once the series came to an end. Due to a lack of structure and uncertainty of what was next, Daniel turned to alcohol for comfort. It also didn't help that alcoholism runs in his family. Thankfully though, Daniel chose to seek help for his drinking problems and is now completely sober and has been for over a decade. So yeah, alphabet aerobics, the original is better. What's Daniel Radcliffe's Hogwarts house? Gryffindor, come on. Number 6, Jessica Simpson. Recently, she revealed that she'd fought for a long and hard battle with alcohol addiction. She was drinking way too much, and it took her a while to see that. She had a problem. And she was using the alcohol as a crutch to deal with life. Her kids were what really motivated her to stop drinking and get better. She came to the realization that it was becoming a problem when she noticed her kids were starting to get older and that they watched her every move. So, thanks to her children, Jessica made the big decision to want to get sober. Number 5, Ronnie Ortiz Megro. Jersey Shore star has gone through a lot in the last few years, one of them being his struggle with alcohol. We saw Ronnie hit rock bottom as he struggled with dealing with his ex having his daughter, as well as the woman he had a baby with. Reality set in for Ronnie when he realized he had to get sober for his baby girl Ariana. As a result, he decided he was going to check himself into rehab and get better not only for himself, but for Ariana too. Since going to rehab and getting his life back in order, Ronnie has been sober. You can see a lot of changes in him, especially when he's out with Jersey Shore castmates as he now watches them spiral and spin out of control when they drink. Now I still do the things I used to do. I still go to the same gym I used to go to, shop at the same stores I used to shop at, hang out with the same kids I used to hang out with. Nothing's really changed. Number four, Sia. Singer and songwriter has struggled with both drugs and alcohol over a decade ago when she decided she needed to make a change. Sia was struggling with her career and to cope, she turned to alcohol and drugs, getting addicted to both Vicodin and Oxycodone. She was really unhappy where she was in life and was hoping that turning to these would fill the void. Eventually though, she got sober and became the big superstar we know and love today. If you can listen closely to her music, you'd notice she often does sing about her struggles with addiction and how far she's come. Number 3. Robert Downey Jr. He's had a very complicated relationship with addiction. From a very young age, he struggled with it throughout his life. He was in and out of rehab several times, but nothing seemed to help. He even got in trouble with the law several times for possession of drugs and driving under the influence. The worst had to be when he was found unconscious and unresponsive and had to be resuscitated in order to go to the 24-hour drug rehab. However, he managed to escape the facility, and for years he continued this cycle, going to rehab and getting arrested. It wasn't until 2003, with the help of his friends and family, that he got serious about getting sober, and has been sober ever since. Probably 
three, maybe four times a day um, during the summer, find Robert in this position where you fall asleep watching American Heroes. Now. Number two, Tom Hardy. Throughout his life, Tom Hardy has struggled with drugs and alcohol. He went down a very destructive road, and it wasn't until 2003 where he got the wake-up call that he so desperately needed. He woke up in London, Soho, where he was playing pool of his own blood and vomit. That was what he needed as he checked himself into rehab not long after. Tom admitted he ruined a lot of relationships thanks to his addiction. His wife, Sarah Ward, divorced him as he would put drugs and alcohol above anyone else. Thankfully, he's been sober ever since and has had a successful acting career thus far. Number 1. Zac Efron When it comes to fame, there's a lot of pressure and everyone handles it differently. For Zac Efron, he had a hard time dealing with it and as a result, turned to alcohol. He was overwhelmed by everyone and felt like he was under an immense amount of pressure and was always worried about what others thought of him. That's when he found himself drinking more and more, so much so that it soon became a problem. In 2013, he started going to Alcoholics Anonymous. However, he still struggled and therefore went to rehab in 2014. Thankfully, it worked, and Zach has been sober ever since. But this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.